Hello friends, uh, welcome to Chameleon classes. So the topic that we are going to discuss today is chromatography. So you all very well know that chromatography is a very well used technique and it is used mostly in every experiment in every lab for the purification and analytical purposes. So let's have a quick look at it. So the word chromatography is derived from a Greek word that is chroma, which means color. Color. So this term chromatography was coined by Mikhail Sweat in 1903 uh, it, in which an individual chemical species was separated from each other by analytical or preparative chromatography. So analytical chromatography basically means that the chromatography whose purpose is to analyze a particular compound and preparative chromatography means any chromatography that is performed just to prepare a sample and then further steps will be performed thereafter. So some components in a cell are present only at a certain stage and study of these individual chemical components of the cell can help us to understand the dynamics of cell composition and its function. So basically what is the definition of chromatography that it is a technique for the separation of a mixture by passing it in the solution or suspension through a medium in which the components move at different rates. So this is a very precise definition of chromatography. It means this is a technique in which we separate different components from a mixture and use a medium to use it in which it is passed from a different rate. So what is the basic principle behind this whole process? So the chromatography is based on the partition coefficient of any molecule. So when we apply a two-phase system, that uh, that means if we apply a liquid-liquid or a solid-liquid phase, the molecule may partition between these phases. It means that the molecules are in two phases and they are distributed. So it is determined by two factors, that is the thermodynamic properties of the molecule and also the phases in which the chromatography is being performed. So basically the partition coefficient is denoted by the letter K and its formula is Cs by Cm. So the Cs stands for the sample concentration in the stationary phase and Cm stands for the sample concentration in the mobile phase. So what are these phases that we will be discussing in the next slides. So in a liquid-liquid system, the partitioning may be due to the difference in solubility of the compound and in solid liquid system the partitioning may be due to the adsorption on the stationary surface. In a mixture of compound each component has, has its own individual K value and due to this interaction with the stationary phase their, dif uh, their K value is different and hence they will migrate at different rates. मतलब कि वो अलग-अलग तरीके से stationary phase के साथ interact करेगा और फिर वो उस column या फिर उस chromatography chamber से अलग-अलग rates पे बाहर आएगा. So this K value basically depends on two factors that is temperature and solvent polarity. And these two terms or these two parameters are used to optimize a particular separation process. Like if we see this, so if we see this figure, like at first, there is two phase, that is stationary phase and the mobile phase. And then the samples are denoted by the circle and the square. So as the process proceeds, I mean, the process is growing, the sample component, which is in stationary phase and mobile phase, they migrate according to their affinity according to their affinity. And when they come to equilibrium, it can be that some particles are in stationary phase and some particles are in mobile phase में हो वो उनकी affinity पे depend करता है so this is the basic principle जिसके कारण chromatography या फिर जो separation होता है molecules का वो possible हो पाता है so as I was discussing that there are two phases in a column chromatography that is first is the stationary phase and the second one is mobile phase so what is stationary phase stationary phase is the fixed phase and it consists of solid particles which is called the bonded phase chromatography and when, and sometimes the liquid is coated on this solid particle and like in liquid-liquid phase. So basically hydrated polymers such as cellulose or agarose are used as stationary phase and the stationary phase must have some characteristics like it should have a good flow characteristic, it should provide some mechanical strength, it must be chemical inert. Chemical inertness is very important because uh, if the sample is reacting with the stationary phase then it may disturb its original conformation so the stationary phase must be chemically inert 
and the column basically that we used uh, use are made up of glass plastic or station stainless steel and that is based on the pressure that is used in the system like in for in high uh, chromatographic techniques such as hplc and glc high pressure is used so in that case station stainless steel columns are used so talking about the mobile phase mobile phase is a free flowing component of the chromatography system uh, normally aqueous buffers are used to get the peptide in native conformation मतलब जब हमें कोई प्रोटीन उसके ओरिजिनल कन्फर्मेशन में चाहिए तो फिर हम नॉर्मली एक्स बफर्स को यूज करते हैं और अगर हमें उसका नेटिव फॉर्म का कोई जरूरत नहीं है हमें सिर्फ वो प्रोटीन चाहिए तो हम ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्वेंट्स को भी यूज कर सकते हैं लाइक दिस इज अ पर्टिकुलर फिगर जिसमें बता रहे हैं कि सेपरेशन एड्जॉर्बन और फिर सॉलिबिलिटी के हिसाब से कैसे हो रही है जैसे ये एक सॉलिड सपोर्ट है और उस पर स्टेशनरी फेस कोट किया हुआ है and the mobile phase is running so these dots are adsorbed on the stationary phase and unke affinity ke according wo mobile phase mein jayenge aur alag alag rate pe elute honge similarly agar wo solubility ke hisab se hota hai to hum ek solid support pe liquid stationary phase ko rakhte hain jaise liquid liquid phase hai jo maine stationary phase mein bataya so this liquid is uh, placed or uh, इट इज कोटेड ऑन द सॉलिड पार्टिकल एंड देन द मोबाइल फेज मीन वो मॉलिक्यूल अपने सॉलिबिलिटी के हिसाब से कि वो स्टेशनरी फेज में जो लिक्विड यूज हो रहा है उसमें कितना सॉलिबल है और मोबाइल फेज में जो सॉल्वेंट यूज हो रहा है उसमें कितना सॉलिबल है उसके हिसाब से वो डिफ्रेंशिएट करेगा और फिर वो अलग अलग रेट पे हमें सेपरेट आउट होके मिलेगा सो बेसिकली देर टू सिस्टम लाइक वी आर गोइंग देर मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ क्रोमेटोग्राफी लाइक बेसिस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ वॉट काइंड ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल इज बींग सेपरेटेड और उनके किस उस मॉलिक्यूल के किस प्रॉपर्टी का यूज करके हम उसको सेपरेट कर रहे हैं बट नॉर्मली दे आर बेसिकली टू दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो इज लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी एंड द गैस क्रोमेटोग्राफी सो टॉकिंग अबाउट द लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी सो इन लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी द क्रोमेटोग्राफी विद द लिक्विड मोबाइल फेज इज नॉर्मली नोन एज द लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी सो दिस इज अ बेसिक डायग्राम ऑफ हाउ अ लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी सिस्टम लुक्स लाइक और हाउ इट इज परफॉर्म सो एज यू कैन सी दैट देर इज अ मोबाइल फेज रिजर्व हुआ है सो दिस मोबाइल फेज रिजर्व हुआ इज द प्लेस वेर द बफर इज स्टोर और द मोबाइल फेज इज स्टोर एंड बाय द हेल्प ऑफ द पम्प इट इज इंजेक्टेड इन टू द कॉलम so the mobile phase is injected through the pump and see here we can see the sample injection point so the sample injection point like we can uh, inject the sample manually or there are auto samplers that inject the samples at given flow rate so this uh, walls that the injection walls they help in convenient sample injection and sometimes we need uh, multiple mobile phases like in binary or quaternary system in which more than one mobile phase is used so this uh, injection valve also help in maintaining the gradient of the mobile phase too so the sample is mixed with the mobile phase and then it is passed through the column that has the stationary phase and the volume and shape of the column depends on the amount of sample and mode of chromatography that we are using like uh, if we are using a thin layer chromatography then it will be a silica plate or if we are using a column chromatography then it will be it will be a column so basic based on that it varies from different types of chromatography techniques so the mobile phase is mixed with the sample and this mobile phase then passes through the column where the chromatography actually actually takes place so the chromatograph then it is detected by the detector like various compounds they will elute, get eluted from the column at different rates and they are detected by the column and there is a fractional collector jo ki time ya volume ke hisab se automatically sample ko store karta hai to detector hai and there is a recording device that it should also be noted कि जब हम जो सैंपल इंजेक्ट करें या जो सैंपल प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं तो वो अलग अलग क्रोमेटोग्राफी में अलग अलग होता है जैसे अगर हम पार्टीशन क्रोमेटोग्राफी परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं देन सैंपल सेपरेट्स इनटू इंडिविजुअल कंपोनेंट्स एज इट पासेस थ्रू द स्टेशनरी फेज मतलब कि जैसे जैसे सैंपल स्टेशनरी फेज से पास करता जाएगा वो सेपरेट आउट होता जाएगा बट जब हम एक एड्सॉप्शन क्रोमेटोग्राफी जैसे आयन एक्सचेंज क्रोमेटोग्राफी यूज कर रहे हैं तो उसमें हम सारे इंटायर सैंपल को एक बार में लोड करते हैं सैंपल में एंड देन उनको लेटरी लेटर में फ्रैक्शनेट करते हैं सो मूविंग ऑन जो नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ क्रोमेटोग्राफी है दैट इज गैस क्रोमेटोग्राफी सो गैस क्रोमेटोग्राफी बेसिकली इज यूज इन द केसेज लाइक 
uh, carbohydrates in which is sterified with hydroxyl groups or methylated ester of fatty acids that are not sensitive to high temperatures that is approx 200 to 250 degrees celsius and uh, ethanol is also stable and volatile at somewhat lower rate so for the detection or the purification of these type of compounds we can use the gas chromatography system so in gas chromatography system the sample is carried with a carrier gas like the mobile phase is a gas so the name is gas chromatography so so the carrier gas are no, uh, normally the inert gas such as nitrogen helium or argon so carrier gas is flowed through the gas flow regulator into the column and the sample is injected by a syringe and uh, the inject porter the injector port is placed 10 degrees celsius above the column temperature so this is basically important for the proper volatilization of the compound so the compound then turns into the gaseous form and it is carried by a carrier gas and then it passes into the column the column is packed with the solid particles that are coated with the liquid phase Uh, and or also some capillary columns can be used in which the inner wall of column is itself coated with the liquid so the capillary columns are basically very small in diameter and the lay, uh, and they are longer like 10 to 100 cm packed ready made made columns are also available so the gas is mixed with the sample and it passes through the column and it's and then it leaves the column at different rates so uh, the detector detects that and detection is normally done by various processes like flame ionization or flame photometry detection or thermal conductivity detector etc etc are used for the detection of the sample so basically there are two different processes like using flame photometry or thermal conductivity so in flame photometry the the molecules pr uh, produces electrons and other ions and in turn they produce a electric current and that is detected and amplified in the thermal conductivity detector such as um, in that the change in conductivity of wire is altered and that change is detected by the detector and the signaling plot is formed and uh, for further analysis or for the use of mass spectrometry the carrier gas flow may be splitted so basically uh, what happens in a gas chromatography that uh, the molecules is mixed with the carrier gas that flows through the column and then it leaves the column at different rates that is detected by the detector that are of various types and then a characteristic graph is plotted by the computer or the data analysis system so what are the basic applications of these chromatography systems like we know that process we know the principle but where are these processes used so chromatography has a wide application like in pharmaceutical industry it is used for the identification and to analyze sample for presence of trace elements or chemicals it is also used to detect the unknown compounds and the purity of mixture it is also used in drug development Uh, in chemical industries it is used uh, for testing the air and water quality detecting containment such as pcb that is polychlorobiphenyls in pesticides and oils it is used in food industry to detect the food spoilage and the uh, additive detection nutritional quality of food it is also used in forensic science to analyze the blood and hair sample uh it is widely used in the molecular biology studies like study of meta metabolomics and proteomics nucleic acid research insulin purif purification plasma fractionation and other various so this was a very brief overview of all the chromat of the basic chromatography technique and what is the principle behind it and there are various type of chromatography techniques that will be discussed in the upcoming videos so then if you like the content please do like and share and subscribe to the canadian classes we'll meet you soon thank you